up, Shop? Today I'm here to explain you a very interesting topic the cell. What is a cell? All living organisms are made up of teeny teeny structures or else compartments, honeycomb shaped structures. Are called, those are called as cells. Cells. Okay. First of all, let us know the discovery of the cell. Robert. Robert. Hook. Robert Hook. The cell was discovered by Robert Hook in the year 1665. Robert Hook. He was an English scientist. Okay. Uh, the cell was discovered by Robert Hook in the year 1665. Okay. He took a thin, thin slice of cork. He took a thin slice of cork and he placed under his microscope and he, uh, he saw uh, the cork, a thin slice of cork, um, under his microscope and he saw a teeny tiny structures or compartments, teeny tiny structures or teeny tiny compartments, honeycomb shaped structures, they, he named those as cells. He named those structures as cells. What a cell? Cell, cell is a Latin word. Cell is a Latin word um, mean by a little room. Okay, Latin word cell is a Latin word mean by a little room. Okay. He named those honeycomb structures as a little room mean by cells. This is how the Robert Hooke was uh, discovered it's the cell in the year 1665. The cell was discovered by Robert Hooke in the year 1665. Now, here, let's learn that uh, there are two types of cells. Unicellular organisms and multicellular organisms. Let's write down here. Multi cellular organisms. Unicellular organisms and multicellular organisms. Now, what is unicellular organisms? Unicellular organisms are uni. Uni mean by single. You only mean by single multicellular organisms. Does multi mean by many? Multi mean by many. Sorry, multi. Multi mean by many. Okay. Unicellular and multicellular. Uni means single, multi means by many. Okay, unicellular organisms and multicellular organisms. Now, what is unicellular organisms? Uni means single, mean by single cell organism. Single cell organisms, mean by uh, uh, an organism has only one cell. The organism has only one cell. Those are called as unicellular organisms. An organism which has only one cell, not more than one cell, only one cell has. Those organisms are called as unicellular organisms. And the organisms which have more than one cell, and the organisms which have more than one cell, mean by many cells, those are called as multicellular organisms. Okay. Organism which has only one single cell is called as sing, unicellular organisms and the, and the organism which has more than one cell those are called as 
multicellular organisms. In the name only itself, you can find that uni uni means single, mean by single celled. Okay, it has only one cell. In multicellular organisms, thus you can find only many cells. Okay, single cell and many cells. Okay. Thus, you can find, define as unicellular organisms mean by an organism which has only one cell. These are called as unicellular organisms. And the organisms which have more than one cell, these are called as multicellular organisms because it has more than one cell, mean, mean, mean by millions and billions and trillions of cells. Okay, these are called as multicellular organisms and an organism which has only single cell, these are called unicellular organisms. Example for these are Chlamydomonas, Bacteria, Amoeba and Paramecium. These bacteria, these, uh, these have only one cell, mean a single cell. The organisms which have more than one cell, those are called is multicellular organisms such as animals and plants. Animals and plants, these are called is multicellular organisms. Understood? Again, I must explain you. Unicellular organism and multicellular organisms. Examples for these are unicellular organisms are Chlamydomonas, Paramecium, Amoeba, and Bacteria. Examples for multicellular organisms are plants and animals. In plants and animals, you can find more than one cell, such as billions and trillions of cells. Okay. Organisms of cells. A group of cells, see here, uh, understood, the, um, listen carefully. A group of cells form tissue. A group of cells together form a tissue. A group of cells form tissue. A group of tissues forms organ. A group of organs form system. A group of systems form body. Okay. A group of cells, a group of teeny 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 teeny, teeny cells, a group of small 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 teeny teeny cells form a tissue. A group of tissues forms our organ. All groups of tissues together form a organ such as stomach organ. A group of organs form system. A group of organs form system such as digestive system, respiratory system, excretory system, etc. A group of systems forms a body. Okay, um, I will repeat once again. Thus, a group of cells, a group of cells forms a group of cells together forms a tissue. A group of tissues together form organ. A group of organs together form systems such as digestive system, respiratory system, excretory system, etc. A group of systems forms a body, such as humans. Okay. Um, thus, a body contains a millions and billions of cells and trillions of cells. Thus, um, the uh, body has more than one cell, isn't it? A body is called is multicellular organism. This example for multicellular organisms are animals and plants. Well, here, let's let's see here. The the cells are of two types. Eukaryotic cell and prokaryotic cell. Pro 
your periodic cell. Your periodic cell and prokaryotic cell. Now, what is your prokaryotic cell and what is prokaryotic cell? Your prokaryotic cell has nucleus with some other parts, with some other parts, such as mitochondrion, Golgi body, and endoplasmic reticulum, lysosomes. Okay, and in prokaryotic cell, you can find only nucleus with no parts. Okay, in prokaryotic cell, there, is, there are no parts, but only you can find only nucleus. Eukaryotic cell, you can find parts. Parts are present in the eukaryotic cell. Okay, in your eukaryotic cell, you can find uh, parts with nucleus. In prokaryotic cell, you cannot find parts, but only you can find nucleus. Okay, okay. In, pro in eukaryotic cell, you can find the cell organelles. In prokaryotic cell, you cannot find cell organelles, which only you can find, but in you can in but only you can find only nucleus. Okay, this is of eukaryotic and prokaryotic cell. Examples for eukaryotic and prokaryotic cells are animals and plants, plants and animals. Okay, examples for eukaryotic cells are plants and animals. Examples for prokaryotic cells are bacteria. Understood? Understood these two types of cells is eukaryotic and prokaryotic cell. In eukaryotic cell, you can find the cell organelles with some uh, which nucleus, and in, in prokaryotic cell, you cannot find uh, cell organelles, but you can find you can find only nucleus present in it. Here let's uh, let's see animals. So there are animal cells and plant cells. Today of uh, today in this lesson, we are going to learn about only animal cells. Any See here, uh, this is a cell plasma. Cell plasma protects the cell. Now, inside the cell plasma, you can find you can find the nucleus. Nucleus inside the nucleus, you can find nucleolus. Nucleus and nucleus and nucleolus. Okay, now here you can find Golgi body or else Golgi complex. Here you can find mitochondrion. The powerhouse of the cell is called is mitochondrion. Let's draw here mitochondrion. Mitochondrion. Here you can find Centrioles, two tiny granules. Now, here you can find in the plasma reticulum.
is it near the nucleus? No. In the pattern reticulum? Short endoplasmic reticulum is called as ER. Ribosome, ribosome, nucleolus, and nucleus here. The endoplasmic reticulum, and here you can find centrioles. Centrioles. Cytoplasm. Next, this is Golgi body. This is Golgi body, or else called as Golgi apparatus. It has another name that's as Golgi complex. Golgi body, Golgi apparatus, Golgi complex. Also, it's called as. Now, so let's see. Oh, in the plasma reticulum, centrioles, lysosomes, cytoplasm, ribosome, nucleolus, nucleus, mitochondrium, cell plasma, Golgi body. Okay, these all are the parts of the uh, animal cell. This in the plasma reticulum, nucleus, sorry, nucleolus, nucleus, lysosome. Centrioles, ribosomes, a small, small, uh, tiny granules, and mitochondria, or mitochondria and Golgi body, cytoplasm, a jelly-like structure inside the cell, and cell plasma. I mean, by the cell plasma protects the cell. In next video, let us learn the parts of the cell organelles. Thank you. Bye.